going on guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you. Got a video that I would usually get on Twitter. Somebody would send me. This actually happened to me. And this really to me shows the two biggest flaws Madden has as far as tackling is concerned. And it just so happens that they're on the same play. Uh, the first of which is going to be inconsistency in tackle animations. And the second of which is going to be a very undedicated physics engine that I really don't know what it operates on. So when we take a look at this play, you notice Antonio Gates catches this pass right around the 55-yard line, 50-yard line, and I do a juke in the field to try to get out into some open space. And it works for the first defensive back, and he misses a tackle. And then the second one comes in, and I don't know if that was a hit stick attempt or whatever the case may have been, but the problem is those two missed tackle animations get me in a predicament where most of the Rams' defense, in fact, about 8 of 10 defenders in the vicinity, are running right toward me. I'm going to slow this down so you can take a look at what happens. And this isn't tackling to me. This is lifeless bodies just running into each other, ragdoll physics, if you will. No one actually attempts a tackle. And I don't think there's anyone in the community that's going to sit there and say this happens every play or that this looks good for that matter. But these are the things that have to be fixed in this game. We cannot have tackling done independently two different ways through animations and through quote-unquote physics. This is an example of an extreme situation where both of them have faults in the same play, but it doesn't mean that they don't need to be fixed because this isn't creating simulation football. Ten players to tackle one player on a field isn't going to get the job done. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. I'll be back in the week with more commentary.